Hey guys, what's up? It's Ian, doing the most, and I figured I just had my little cup of VGC, made the announcement video, uh, event went off, it did things, I suppose. I will probably post the bracket and stuff and somewhere in this video just to say how it did, but just as a little recap versus how my team did versus what my team was, that's what we're here to do. I ran a team that I like to affectionately call Double Crab, but it's because we have Ooh, crab. I know, real shocker there, but hey, it was kind of an interesting idea I came up with, and it adheres more strictly to how I like to build my teams. VDC, I'm not, like, super experienced, but obviously Little Cup is my shit, so here we are. Here's what happened. Here's what I did. So, overall event, just recap, it was super fun. I, you know, had to put money in, but didn't end up paying it, because, hey, I won. When... 5-0 the whole tournament, just because we had a little bit of a attendance crisis right like 10 minutes before we started, which is, you know, just my life anymore, and that it's fine. You know, it's life a mess, and we're slowly working through it. But anyway, on to team, because I am a meth-addicted squirrel of a person. Anyway, so, 5-0, never dropped a game with the Steam, actually, so... If you can ever find a reason to play Little Cup VGC as a format, which I pray to God I can get started, please. I need more of this. It was so fun. You know, not just because I won. Anyway. First member of the team was part of the namesake, Krabby. Krabby is, and I will never stop believing this or stressing this, Krabby is busted. If you can make it work. That's the real kicker, is that Krabby is amazing. But it's speed tiering, and it's basically it's pretty frail, all things considered. Like, obviously, you look at the stats, I mean, look at this. It's pretty great. But more than anything, it just it lacks some special bulk that really helps it get through, and its coverage can sometimes be a little bit meh. But this is in singles. In doubles, with all the support in the world, it just can hit things and hit them hard. I uh, took out a man's entire, the, the whole set. The entire set was one off the back of a singular Krabby, if that tells you how absolutely insane this thing is. And basically, the three moves you see there, Liquidation, Rock Slide, Body Slam, is basically all you need. I mean, obviously there's, you know, a couple of coverage things, but with Sheer Force and everything that goes with it, those three moves are incredible. Plus, this was my main Dynamax Pokemon, because this thing hits like a motherfucking truck! Oh my god, it's amazing. I will never stop springing into praises to the high heavens to my little ketamine crabby boy. And the agility, I never actually ended up clicking all tournament, and, you know, I wish I had recorded any of this, but I was so beyond stressed at the point that I forgot to do it, so I apologize for that. But, you know, we're here. Just kind of doing. Anyway. So, agility is there mostly, mostly because if you can protect it and then you can get it set up, then you need no other setup on the team other than just protect Krabby as it outspeeds everything and kills anything it wants to. Life Orb Sheer Force on this Pokemon with base 105 attack is nuts, and whoever made this, I love you, because this just gives me joy. Although you're probably on a bunch of crack, and that's incredible. Next member of the team is probably what I think is the best Pokemon in the entire format, bar none. Togepi is kind of crazy. Its ability doesn't really do anything for it, and, like, I mean, its typing is good-ish, but a lot of the threats can sometimes deal with it. But on anything else, its sheer amount of support, speed control, and just the ability to support some frailer mons that need a little bit of help before they can just, you know, sweep a format, Togepi is here, and Togepi does all of it so exceptionally well that it's actually kind of crazy. It is fat beyond belief with an EVOI. It gets the best support moves just across the board, and it gets recovery too, which it had the whole time because it didn't even need to rely on any, like, roost or anything. So it's kind of nuts. Togepi lived to hit, it definitely should not have, and it just... If you are going to be playing Little Cup VGC, just, just use it. It's so good. It's so fucking good. It'll live anything and everything. It's just a monster. It's a little egg-shaped monster that I never turn into an omelet. And so here's where we start getting to what I was talking about with that bimodal support for my teams. Because 
basically, you really shouldn't bring both crabs to a single game. Obviously, there are certain matchups where it is possible, but it's not really what I'd recommend. So, I built the more speed control elements based around Krabby. Togepi fits in literally everything ever, because oh my god. But, Corfish is kind of great at two things. One, it's really, really slow. And, well, that's normally not actually really a problem, because access to D-Dance... I didn't want to run D-Dance because I figured to myself, if I can make a Trick Room, a trick room support work on this team, Cra Corefish can go straight for Swords Dance, and with priority in Aqua Jet means that even if you're kind of out of the priority, even like, you know, you don't get your Trick Room set up properly or just outspeed and threats abound, Corefish helps to kind of fill in that role. Plus, you know, if Trick Room goes off, Crab Hammer hits it just as an obliteration tool and Knock Off is, you know, Knock Off. If you need me to explain why that's good, uh, you're probably watching this channel and is my friend Kevin. Hi, Kevin. How you doing? Knock off just, you know, items are so important in the metagame, so getting rid of them on a thing that can also dent everything is just, you know, kind of great. Not even gonna lie. This is the other half that really, the other half of the cog that really made the, uh, the old trick room support even function at all is my trick room setter. Now, there's actually a lot of pretty decent trick room setters. But, given that I was running Double Crab and I needed a lot of things to kind of help mitigate weaknesses, Pumpkaboo is really good for that. Plus, you know, running Super Pumpkaboo means it's that. So, it can also live hits and berry juice for, you know, little cup reasons. Because, of course, when you have an item that'll fill you back to full 98% of the time, you might as well just use it. And then it's just Protect Stab, because that's really all it needed. It, it got a couple of kills just in the course of the match, just kind of by consequence of some miracle that I still don't get, is it's basically just a trick room set. That was its whole function, and just kind of add typing support, but it ended up doing the work a decent bit, so not even gonna complain about that, because it's good Pokemon. It's a really good Pokemon. And fifth mon is Satan. I love Volibee, but oh my god, this thing is kind of crazy. The Orin Berry is there, because I just started running out of ideas, because Items Clause is a thing that exists, and while I did enforce it, god do I hate it during team building. I just want to give everything berry juices and heavy lights. Why do you make me try to be creative about things? Come on, game. But anyway, back on track. Volibee is one of the most versatile Pokemon the format has ever seen. Little Cup in general. It's just kind of crazy. From a wild sweeping set to just being strong, either specially or physically offensive, without even needing any of the speed boosting stuff, to the defensive set that you see before you, with Tailwind for extra support knockoff, because I've already explained that, and again, it's great. Just trust me on that, it's great. Bird stab's kind of amazing anyway. And this was another potential Dynamax target, because Max Airstream, which gives you plus one speed, is stupid! Oh my god. Whoever made Dynamaxing was off the rocker when they decided, like, yeah, bird move, flying move, it gives you speed. Who needs that? The answer is every Pokemon ever that could ever need it, and you have broken the metagame, and this is the one reason I think it's insane. This is the reason Dynamaxing can't be allowed in most normal formats. You hear me, Game Freak? You fucked up, and this is the birds are the problem. And last, but certainly not least, is Rhyhorn. Rhyhorn, I basically needed because it was the best Lightning Rod Mon available, and that seems kind of weird to say, but it's a couple of bad typing matchups are also mixed in with the rest of the team, so, you know, grass types with both Bullaby and Pumpkaboo, and then, obviously, Electric Move covered there, it's great. Anyway, it really fit onto the team perfectly from a typing-wise, and it's relatively poor speed stat, means that it can go either way with the speed tier battles. So, it was a surprisingly effective just fourth member of the team. It hits pretty strong, the Assault Vest, which, by the way, if you ever use a Singles Little Cup where you're not bound, where you're not bound by Items Clause, you're an idiot. Use an Eviate Light, it's so much better, it does twice as much with zero cost, please use it, and if I see you not doing it, I swear I will snap your neck. Anyway, in more pleasant news, Rhyhorn is just, it's, it's so strong, and it falls into a very same problem with Krabby, I think, where they are very good Pokemon with such down, with such severe downsides that you cannot use them in normal play nor without a lot of effort. 
We're talking an astounding amount of effort. I've tried Krabby, and I've tried Rhyhorn on the ladder. It doesn't work. Please trust me. Don't do it. It will lead to nothing but heartache. But Rock Blast, Mega Horn, I Power Power. It just it it got a bunch of kills, and it did what it needed to do. So it was pretty good. Overall, I think this team is great for what it is. I think that obviously you lose a bit of diversity when your two main offensive threats are both the same typing, both physical, and both rely on a little bit of setup. But they provide such different experiences that a lot of times just this team comp can throw your opponent off without much effort at all. It's kind of amazing, really. And so that's it. I do plan on running more of these tournaments somewhere in the future, so if you're interested, I will have my Discord link below. You can join. We're running all sorts of tournaments uh, across the board. I know the next one we're running is going to be Create a Pokemon Little Cup, which I think is super strange, but I think it should be interesting to see. So I'll hopefully see you there. Thanks a lot, and I will see you next time.